Good afternoon, Saints. Um, this is Esmeralda, or some. My nickname is Amy. You know that I have the conference room of Jesus Christ channel right here. Conference room of Jesus Christ channel. I also have Will You Die for Jesus and End Time Deliverance. You guys know I have those three channels. I've told you that before. It's for the purpose of my ministry. Now, the Lord wanted me to bring something to light. Um, there was a false prophet by the name of Rachel Sheriff that I and true other brothers and sisters in Christ have uh, exposed. And um, the Lord did say that he was going to remove her satanic ministry for coming up against the true servants of God. And I prophesied this to you, and that prophecy came to pass. You don't see Rachel Sheriff's satanic channel active anymore. Praise God, that's one demon down, and it's the Lord's going after each of these false prophets using various true servants of God. Now, do you see this channel right here? This person is Rachel Sheriff's mother. She is another false prophet with the false visions and dreams. Uh, she prophesied many things that America would be destroyed. America's still here. It's supposed to happen now. She prophesied that um, Islam was going to take over along with her crazy satanic daughter, Rachel Sheriff. That Islam was supposed to take over back in 2013. That's never happened. She also prophesied the rapture in 2013 like her satanic daughter. That's never happened. Now, um... I showed you scripture before that says, uh, you know, no man knows the day nor the hour. So that debunks the rapture theory that God told him anything because God's not going to tell man the day he's coming. God is Jesus Christ. The Bible also mentions in the book of mentions, excuse me, in the book of Deuteronomy, um, in the book of Jeremiah too, if a prophet prophesies something and that prediction comes true, that prophet was sent by God. That's how you test the spirits. And in the book of Deuteronomy, if a prophet prophesies something one time and it doesn't come to pass, that prophet that was never sent by God, that's a false <clears throat> prophet. So these two have a string of false prophecies. Now, I'm going to show you. Proof of the two scriptures that I told you about. And I don't want to hear anything about, oh, we're supposed to, we're supposed to love one another. That's true. But we're supposed to, part of loving your brother or sister in Christ is helping them when they're in error. Correct them in love. That's what you're supposed to do. Be firm, but correct them. And if they don't listen to you when you go to them two times privately, then you rebuke them out in the open, which is what I'm doing right now. So, in the book of Jeremiah, it says, in Jeremiah 28, 9, it says, this is a scripture I just told you about, the prophet that which prophesied of peace, when the Lord of the prophet shall, well, I'm sorry, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. So when that prediction comes true, the Lord sent that prophet to speak for him. It says in Ezekiel 33, 33, when all this comes true, and it surely will, then they will know that a prophet has been among them. In other words, God is not a liar. And when he prophesies to his prophets, the servants, who are ordained only by God, they're not going to come to you with a pack of lies like these false prophet demons do. They're going to tell you straight up truth, whether you like it or not. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, 22, says, if, a, if what a prophet proclaims at the name of the Lord does not take place or come true, that is a message the Lord has not spoken. That prophet has spoken presumptuously, so do not be alarmed. Don't fear him. Don't be alarmed. Don't be afraid to speak out against that prophet. God commands you to in his word. So if what a prophet proclaims doesn't come to pass, like I just told you, that prophet was never sent by God. Now let's take a look at Jeremiah 28, 9, which I believe I just showed you. This will kind of give you a little in-depth look. So you saw that it's very important scripture. All these words are very important of God. Okay. Remember a prophet is not honored in his country. So when, when, when you could tell when a prophet is among you, when they're speaking the word of God and that's truth, they're going to be hated. They're not going to be honored. They're going to be hated. They're not going to have a large following. And 
They're going to always be persecuted and attacked because nobody wants to hear the truth of God. They want to continue to live in sin. Okay. And also that prophet's going to speak boldly for Jesus Christ. And they're going to speak out of the word of God. They're not going to add to or take away from because God's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Amen. They're going to want, they're going to speak right out of the word of God. They're going to speak truth and those prophecies are not going to um, fail. They're going to come to pass at the Lord's appointed time. The only way a, a true prophecy can fail is if the prophet comes to the person as a warning. Like what happened to King Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was warned that if he didn't acknowledge God, I'm paraphrasing here, as Lord of all, and give his glory to Jesus Christ, that he was going to end up in um, the wilderness for seven years. That God was going to correct him like that. Now, God said that that didn't have to come to pass if Nebuchadnezzar would have listened. So, in other words, the prophecy would have failed if Nebuchadnezzar would have listened. It would not have had to come to pass. But then the prophecy passed and came to pass because Nebuchadnezzar did not hearken on to the servants of God that warned him. So, let me get back to the point that I'm making. I just showed you scripture backing up what I'm telling you that... If a person prophesies something <clears throat> and it doesn't come to pass, that person is not a prophet of God. This person is not a prophet of God. She was never sent. She was corrected numerous times. And um, she never hearkens on, just like her daughter. So just in case Rachel Sheriff tries to use her mother's channel to continue her satanic ministry, it's going to end and it's going to stop here because you've deceived enough people. So... This message she has right here, she claims is from God. I'm going to teach you something, a little synopsis on how you could detect a false prophet. The Bible tells you pretty much if the prophecy comes to pass, that person's a uh, uh, true prophet. If a prophet doesn't come to pass, that person was not sent by God. You have to test a person's fruits, amen? God says you will know them by their fruits, the fruits that they produce, including <clears throat> the fruits of prophecy let's 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 look at this for a little bit don't listen to this message because the messenger is a message a messenger of satan okay she's a messenger of satan that's rachel sheriff's mother the woman that used to have rachel loves the lord watch this Okay, are you aware that I'm coming? Are you aware that I'm already here? First of all, God's everywhere. That's true. That's true. But God is not going to tell you that he's coming. He's not going to tell you, are you aware that I'm coming? And I'm going to take you to some scriptures to back that up. He's not going to tell you that. God says you're not going to know when he's going to come because he's going to come like a thief in the night. But you're supposed to always be watching. You are supposed to know that Jesus Christ is coming. Yes, but you don't know when you don't know the day or the hour. What she's saying in this message. Are you aware that I'm coming like implying Jesus Christ is coming right now? Jesus Christ is coming. Yes, but no man knows the day nor the hour. That, that's what needs to be clarified. That's how I can tell that that's not a message from God. So I'm going to show you scripture again. But of that, what of but of that day, oh not, and but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. That's one scripture. Another scripture, if you go to um, Mark thirteen thirty two, this debunks what she says. Um, do do you that she claims that Jesus Christ said? Are you aware that I'm coming? Like implying Jesus Christ is coming now. Well, Jesus Christ said no man's going to know the day or the hour. You have to watch for his coming. Yes, Jesus Christ is coming, but you're not going to know the day or the hour. And you might sit there and say, well, I didn't hear her date setting. That's because you're not listening and you just being moronic. You being a moron. I'm, I don't mean to sound condescending to you. I'm telling you this out of love. You're not listening. 
Okay, Satan's going to send you false prophets that will set a date, but will not put the date right in your face. They're going to hide it. She's telling you, are you aware that I'm coming? Like implying that Jesus Christ is coming right this second. When the word of God clearly says in Mark 13, 32, no man knows the day or the hour. It's crystal clear and it's in black and white. It's crystal clear. You don't need, you know, it's, it's crystal clear in the word of God. But of that day, no man, but of that day or hour, no one knows. It, scripture goes on to say, of that day, hour, no one knows. Okay. And not even the angels in heaven, neither the son, but the father. And the scriptures tells you to just watch for God's coming. Comfort each other with the words. I believe in second Thessalonians that, um, you will be, if you are right with God, you will make it in a rapture. You will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Encourage each other that Jesus Christ is coming. Okay, no man knows the day nor the hour. And like I said, if you listen to her message with spiritual ears, it's like she's implying Jesus Christ is coming right now. Are you aware that I'm coming? Are you aware that I'm coming? Are you aware that I'm already here? It's true. Jesus Christ is everywhere. But Jesus Christ has not come yet. He's going to be coming. No man knows the day nor the hour. Okay, if you listen to her message where she says, are you aware that I'm coming? Like, it's like she's saying that. Do you know that I'm coming? And Jesus Christ is saying, do you know that I'm coming? Yes, Jesus Christ says he's coming, but we don't know the day nor the hour. It's like she's implying he's coming right now. You just got to listen to the urgency in that message, the falsehood, and how she's implying that Jesus Christ is coming now because this woman has a history of date setting. Watch this. She's, she's taking that scripture out of context. In 1 John, it says to test the spirits. Yes, it's true. God says that he's going to prop, he's going to, he's going to, um, he's going to pour out a spirit. Older women, older men shall have dreams. Younger men will have visions. Sons and daughters will prophesy. I believe that's what it says in the scriptures, right? Let me just take you straight there. How is it that that scripture is backing up what she's saying? Because she gave you a false vision? No. The scriptures of God says that you still have to test every spirit. Just because God says that he's going to send, he's going to pour out a spirit. And it says right here and on my, and right here, just because God says, and on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out on these, in those days and my spirit, and they shall prophesy that God's going to send dreams and visions to a service. Doesn't mean that that person's getting a vision from God. You still got to test the spirits. She's implying she's a prophet and she's not. You still got to test the spirit. So how is that scripture backing up the so-called message she got from God? How is it backing it up? It's not. Because just because a person has a vision or a dream doesn't mean that they are one of the servants that God is pouring a spirit out on. God is saying that you still must test the spirits if those fruits are of him or not. If that person is of God or not. Please pray for discernment over this. What you also notice about a prophet is that they will put a false hidden message telling you, okay, ask God for discernment. They will not emphasize how important that discernment is needed, like saying, do not take what I say at face value. Go to Jesus Christ and ask him if what I tell you is true. Do not believe what I said. You must try and test every spirit. She's not telling you to do that just because she says, please pray for discernment. What kind of discernment? How should you discern? That's what these, these, these people need to say. How should you discern? How do you discern? Look, I tell you in my videos, you need to discern with God. And then I tell you how. Seek God's counsel. Ask God if what I tell you is true. Ask God if what you're being shown is the truth. Don't go take my, my word at face value. Okay? That's how you discern. You go to God and you ask Him if what being said is true. This consistency of this message, she's not showing you scripture to back it up. She only threw a scripture at your face telling you that God's going to pour out his spirit. 
Yes, God's going to pour out a spirit, but it doesn't mean that every person that has a vision or dream is from God. That's why you need to test the spirits. She has a history of false prophecies. This woman right here. This is Rachel Sheriff's mother. You people need to be careful who you listen to. I just went, I just tested the spirits right before your eyes. When she told y'all that the message so-called said, do you know that I'm coming? It's like she's implying that the Lord's coming now, that, that we're supposed to know the day or the hour, even though she didn't come right out and say it. You need to understand Satan is very sly. When he sends out a prophet, he will take some truth and hide it. He'll take some truth and make the, the message seem like biblical, and he'll put a piece of lies in there like this one. You got to have serious discernment. Because she was implying to you people that Jesus Christ is coming right now. When it says in the word of God, no man knows the day or the hour. Jesus Christ is not going to tell you, do you know that I'm coming now? Or do you know that I'm coming? Like implying, do you know that I'm, that, that I'm coming like right this second? Jesus Christ is going to, yes, say, do you know that I'm coming? But do you know that at the time that I come, no man knows the day or the hour. Do you know that I'm coming, but you know... That I'm coming at my appointed time. Do you know that I'm coming, but you don't know the day nor the hour? I'm coming in a time you at least expect. So you're not going to know when Christ is coming. You're going to know that he's coming, but you're not going to know when, saints. Okay? And I gave you scriptures to back that up. She's right. Jesus Christ is coming, but no man knows the day nor the hour. And Jesus Christ is not going to say what she said in the beginning. Watch this. Do you hear that? Are you aware that I'm preparing your flight? Like implying that the rapture's happening, that the rapture's happening near, that I'm coming. When they say near, she's not giving... Let me tell you something. You need to have ears to hear. When they say near, these false prophets are indirectly setting a date to you. Like they're saying that Jesus Christ is coming right now. Are you aware that I'm coming? Like she's implying that Jesus Christ is coming right now. For them, near means like right now. I'm preparing your flight. Like she's saying that the Lord's getting ready to take his bride into the rapture. The Lord's getting ready to um, rapture out his rapture out the bride of Christ. She's calling herself a bride of Christ when she said in the beginning of the message, um, "My bride." Nobody knows who the bride of Christ is. Only Jesus does. So therefore, not me, not you, no one has a right to call themselves a bride of Christ. That's why I tell you all that you need to check your walk with Christ and ensure that you are living pleasing to the Lord's eyes. That your garments are spotless and clean. You can't call yourself a bride. You'd be surprised, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus told me that so many people think they're going to make it in the rapture and they're not. It's only going to be a small number. And no man knows the day nor the hour. Nobody knows if Jesus Christ is preparing for the rapture. To rapture his bride out of here. Nobody knows that. God's not going to tell her that. That's how I know that this is a lie too. That's another discrepancy in this message. He's not going to tell her I'm preparing to take my bride home. He's not going to tell her that. It's a very pivotal event. It's like giving, giving, it's like a dead giveaway saying that God is saying, oh, I'm going to prepare my bride. I'm going to prepare to take my bride home. Basically saying that the rapture is going to happen. It's going to happen now. That's what she's implying. You need to have spiritual ears to hear. Satan is not going to directly tell you something. He's going to mix it with truth and lies. He's going to lie to you and he's going to make it seem all pretty packaged up. He's going to make it seem attractive. He's going to make it seem like it's, there's no lies. He's going to make it seem like it's full of truth when there's nothing but lies inside. He's going to give you a fruit basket where the fruit looks nice on the outside, but it's rotted on the inside. Because Satan is the father of lies and he's going to send out false prophets like this. The Lord told me that Rachel Sheriff was going to piggyback on this channel and try to get her satanic ministry up and running by using her mother's satanic channel. Well, that's going to stop because these two witches straight up de deceive enough people. God's knocking these pro false prophets off one by one. I'm not saying like murder because these people are spiritually dead anyway. And you could take it how you want to take it. 
But nobody should be false, falsely prophesying and continue and refuse correction to take it to the Lord in prayer and still sit in God's eyes and think that that's okay with God. That's actually blasphemous. Read Hebrews 10, 26, what it says when you, after receiving the knowledge that something is a sin and you continue to do it knowing that it's a sin, there's no sacrificial blood left to wash that sin away. You are subject to immediate damnation and judgment. Read Hebrews 10, 26. God is, God is is basically dealing with these false prophets one by one. Okay? One by one. The Bible says that the false prophets will arise. God in the last days, lots of them. God's dealing with them one by one. God sent God is delivering his sheep. So you need to be careful who you listen to. Okay? Lord told me that Rachel, I don't know when, was going to try to piggyback on this channel and try to get her satanic ministry back. Okay? But Jesus Christ is going to stop that. Jesus Christ is dealing with these false prophets one by one and their minions. Take what I tell you to the Lord in prayer. Don't take what I say at face value. Ask God, Jesus Christ directly, if what I tell you is true. Go to the Lord. Ask him to show you and he will.